Some people might call this larceny. I would call it bad manners. Mm -hmm. Well, consider it your fee. Would you like me to uh, sign it? What would you say? Something that would get you in real big trouble if the missus ever found it. <laughs> <clears throat> the missus, mm -hmm. yes. You're okay, Lewinsky. Even though you think I'm a real pain in the ass. The court is deeply concerned that the defendant will not permit an independent medical examination on her behalf. It's a critical flaw in her case. Nor has her behavior in this courtroom inspired the confidence of the bench. On the other hand, the court is not satisfied that the opinions expressed by Dr. Morrison are completely persuasive, although I, I do agree with him that Mrs. Draper does need some kind of help. But that's not my role here. My role is to determine whether the defendant is competent to stand trial, and that depends on two factors only. One, can she understand the charge against her? Two, can she assist in her own defense? Now, from what I have witnessed in this courtroom these past two days, the answer to both of those questions is yes. I therefore find the defendant competent to stand trial, release her on her own recognizance to await trial on the felony charge of manslaughter in the first degree, which trial shall take place one month from today. Court dismissed. But your honor, the defendant has been charged with a particularly cold-blooded crime. The people request a high bail. You've heard my decision, Mr. McMillan. Court dismissed. Thank you, Stanley. Oh, God. <laughs> well, yeah. Congratulations. See you in court, Lippensky. And you did okay by yourself today. I did, didn't I? Maybe I'll change professions. Where are you going? Ow! Oh!